Welcome everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have a Divine Masculine Twin Flame read for you. It's right there in front of you. Uh, very, some very cool information again today. I just did a short meditation to see where the, the inner little girl and the inner little boy are as far as the masculine and feminine. And the little girl was on the left side, on her side, but just left of the middle. She was toward the middle. And she was, you know how little kids, when they're really little, they'll sit on their butt and with bent knees, they'll kind of be up on their heels and kind of spin themselves around the circle and shuffle their heels heel to heel and then spin themselves around well the, the feminine was sucking her thumb and doing that she was sitting on her butt and with her feet on her heels and kind of you know pushing herself around in a clockwise circle and when I asked where the masculine was um, I wasn't seeing anything and then I was seeing her kind of like um, like a flinging motion while she was spinning around clockwise doing this, the masculine was going up and down in a circle. As So she's going around in a circle on the earth plane and the masculine was going up and down from the etheric realms and down again like that. And then when I finally did um, tune in on seeing the divine masculine, he was actually up in space, like in awe, looking around, all around him. So he's definitely doing some last minute touch-ups <laughs> to connect to the etheric realms and um, that was very, a good very good sign there and we're going it makes sense coming into the eclipse tomorrow and uh, let's see here 52 is definitely coming up right away I woke up at 752 but then the um, read was done at 852 as well I was up at 752 and as I was as I was putting out the Syrian starseed deck which is the main deck for this read I was getting some that something's not quite right that something needs readjustment. So that may be what was happening with the masculine just now. And I was also getting master of the house, but twice, because there's two kings out on the table. So there's two, like one too many kings in the house, The two kings are too many kings in the house. And um, for the uh, read, which like I said, it was done, it was finished, and I'm losing my voice already, 851 to 852, and the, the Sirius Starseed deck was cut at 823, which is the Strength card and the King of Wands. The Masters of the House stuff came up at 46 to 48, which is the Six of Cups and the Eight of Cups walking away, and also the Twins, or the Children. And then finishing the read at 851 to 52 is the Strength card and the King and Queen of Swords. And I'm losing my voice again, okay? So that always comes up with the, especially the King of Swords, but here we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. And this was very relevant. There were no majors in the Masculine's Read today. None at all. Not even the before and after, after cards. And yesterday there were no majors in the... I didn't post yesterday. I didn't feel it was really significant, so I didn't feel like posting it yesterday. But there were no majors in the Read yesterday. Although there might have been one or two majors in the outer cards. There were none today at all which means the masculine has no divine assistance today. He is able to make all decisions in his life on his own without help. And we're kind of getting used to this because you notice most days there are several majors in the read, if not many majors in the reads. You know, it's usually at least two, if not up to seven or eight. Eight's rare, but seven and eight are very rare. But two to six is very common for the reads that I do. It's, I don't even remember the last time I had no majors in the read. That's how, how rare that is. Today there are no majors anywhere in the major cards here, okay? We had three cups, three swords, three pentacles, and two wands. So very well distributed, very well balanced, which is good if the masculine's making decisions on his own today. And we had the page of cups, the king of swords, and the king of cups. We also have the Nine of Pentacles come up, which isn't a court card, but it is the Sovereign, so it's often a person. And before the read, the Queen of Cups also came up. So we have the King and Queen of Cups present here, as well as the King of Swords, and the Page of Cups, and the times where the King and Queen of Cups, and no majors. The numbers in the code line today were all about surrender and new beginnings. And we had most um, powerful were the triple sixes. We also had triple threes, though. Uh, we had double nines and then double twos as well. The other numbers, the code line number was 21. It was actually, actually it was a large number, 669. 
which equals 21, so they were both relevant, and 21 is a three of that um, coming together energy, whether it's social, um, siblings, friends, um, expressing yourself authentically, right? Just being in joy, the one who smiles all the time. And the 21 of the world, which is completion, with the 669, and 66 is the queen of pentacles, and 69 is the ace of pentacles, that brand new start or life. The code line here, revolving around surrender and new beginnings, was all about the nine of crystals, which is that sovereign energy, you know, right where you want to be. Especially for the divine feminine, I usually see the feminine as the nine of crystals in her empowerment and the masculine, the nine of cups in his empowerment. Because that's where we lacked coming into this journey, right? The feminine learning how to manifest more on her own in her authentic self, as opposed to working for um, you know, the institution basically, and the mass and learning about his emotions and to allow them to come up and master his emotions. So today that nine of pentacles or nine of crystals was the main card in the code line uh, revolving around surrender and new beginnings. I'm still having trouble with my voice. It's like my voice wants to go out. And as soon as I started reading the code line, I was getting Tel Aviv, which was weird because I never think of that word Tel Aviv. And, um, a show of power was coming up between Tel Aviv and Saudi Arabia. And so I don't even know the connection between them really. So I'm just telling you what I'm getting. Um, the acronym SA was coming up again. So showing a showing of power revolving around Tel Aviv and Saudi Arabia, but also Sex Anonymous, the Nazi Assault Division, staff infections, which is, you know, staff is everywhere. So it's a very common infection. And then um, suicide attempt was also coming up here. Um, Tel Aviv or TV6 was coming up. So whether that's Channel 6 or the telepathy of the lovers is also coming up. Um, and to say yes, if they're in their sovereignty and being human, they're sovereign in their humanity. Um, also the new life was coming up of the lovers that Ace of Pentacles, and I'm getting a little bit of a connection actually in my legs right now. That was interesting. Um, it's like uh, the message was that the lovers fit together uh, perfectly, that they complement each other, especially when it comes to making money and in their humanness, their humanity. So, and this is where they need to come together in their new life, in their, in their uh, co-creation abilities, their, their ability to their time, money, and energy, all those kind of things, and their hum humanness, their humanity. That's how the lovers best fit together. And then whatever um, whatever you don't see eye to eye on are the things that actually complement each other. So that was very important today. The show of power, say TV or telepathy, right? That telepathic connection, having your antennas out of the 66, which is the queen of pentacles, and the sovereign being the, the the feminine being in her independence, and then I was getting the a single eye, so their humanness, but also their third eye. Um, also referencing a hug, right? As kisses and hugs, the X was definitely set shown to me as not because the X does come up next to the zero, which is interesting, but no X is today, just the zero of the human or the third eye, the cyclops, the third eye or some, it could reference one eye for someone. And then um, NISA was coming up, N-I-S-A, which is National Independent Soccer Association. It also is an investment, advisors, L an investment advisors, LLC. It also is an acronym for Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency in Japan, National Invasive Species Act of 1996, which is very interesting to me. I didn't list them all, but these were just the ones that came, that, um, you know, popped out to me. Also, National Intelligence and Security Agency in the Philippines. Very interesting. But the National Invasive Species Act of 1996 was re really drew my attention. Um, so the show of power of satellite TV, which just can reference your telepathy or your heart connection, of the lovers or the Sophia Nine, the Divine Feminine Collective Consciousness, in their independence, their sovereignty, and their humanness, along with their third eye connection. 
So the lovers say yes if they're independent in their humanity with no X and their third eye open. And then the little, the little drummer boy was coming up in this as well. Um, it was very interesting. The little drummer boy and then Mr. Drummond from Different Strokes was coming up here. And then I was getting from on that seven, that set, that second entry because when I looked up Mr. Drummond to remember to remember how it was spelled because I couldn't remember his name because I was getting that from the little drummer boy. Of course, Mr. Drummond came right up with different strokes, and but also on that page came up Henry Mr. Drum uh, Nizumalo. I'm not sure how it's pronounced exactly, but. It was South Africa, which is the acronym again, SA, which I didn't put into this header. This was just looking up the little, the um, Mr. Drummond thing. So here comes another reference to SA, which is South Africa. And there was a couple of people that came up in reference to South Africa here. One was Mr. Drum that I just mentioned, pioneering South African um, investigative writer or journalist under the apartheid. Uh, also, another one who came up here was Nat Nakasa, and this was from 1964, which was interesting because that's 1964 is the year my sister was born, and she was born on Martin Luther King's birthday. Or Martin Luther King, that's her birthday, it's Martin Luther King's, yeah, day, January 15th. So, um, Nat Nakasa was also a South African writer in exile in New York. Um, who jumped from a seven-story building in Central Park and 102nd Street 10 months after he took the Neiman Journalist Fellowship at Harvard U. Um, he had written articles that the apartheid government aboard, so they deemed him or they denied him his, his passport. So he refused to go back and be, you know, a second-class citizen after that. And then he ended up jumping off a building. So it was kind of like a tip, a tip of our hat to these people, uh, Mr. Drum and Nat Nakasa, who was only 28 years old when he jumped off a building. And this was around the time that Nelson Mandela had been sent to prison. So he didn't see any real, any real way of going back to his home. Um, another header that came up was 669, was the shop. The woman is a woman's clothing store in France, I believe. There was definitely some French language coming up. And then six excuse me, Star 69 was coming up from online.com, which is a band. Um, six to nine picnic grounds came up as well as six and nine fashion ink, Maura Lee, which has wedding dresses and evening wear. And then the last header that came up was Sorrow TV, which is very much about, it's kind of like referencing what we do here. We talk about clearing our wounds. Some of the other numbers that, um, that came up here that I didn't mention Besides the triple numbers and double digits, we had um, what the odd numbers were coming up one, three, one, three, um, seven, seven, and nine, but five was missing, so that was significant. The five and 79, which is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, 13, which is the um, death card or transition, 36 is the ten of wands. 69, the Ace of Pentacles, um, 67, the Knight of Pentacles, 34 is the Eight of Wands, and 46, the Six of Cups, they all came up as well. All right, so a show of power in the telepathic or that divine connection of two lovers as independent humans in surrendering to their new beginning. The Page of Cups was the underlying energy as we start out here. here, And then the cards below that, um, we, I pulled four on either end, below the underlying energies and after the end of the read. So below the Page of Cups is the Nine of Cups upright, the Queen of Cups upright, the Two of Cups reversed, and the Ten of Wands reversed. So here we go, guys. So vulnerable, rejected, shy, or whiny child, or the crybaby, spoiled, after happy with themselves. The Queen of Cups, unable to see face to face, surrendered to confession, or they're just dropping their burdens and responsibilities and hard work. Finding um, peace, expressing feelings and energy exchange that's destined to be. The Queen of Swords reversed without options, 
but to awaken or shine their light to peace talks around the world. The Queen of Cups, deeply hurt and wounded, or in other words, sorrow TV, to clear wounds in the ascension to a higher knowing. Stability, home, union, over loss and regret, the High Priestess is awakened to insecurities of the Page of Wands reversed, who could be frustrated with tantrums, a child with illness, or just uninspired in lack. Lack of energy. At home and just over it, with a secret, intuitive abilities, awakened with ideas and light bulb moments or epiphanies about insecurity and manipulations and its relationship to lack of energy and inspiration and child illness. So again, that was important, lack of energy. Okay, ideas and epiphanies about insecurity and manipulation and the relationship of that and lack of energy and just lack in general to lack of energy, inspiration and childhood illness. The page of cups reversed and the page of wands reversed. They could just represent two children who are not doing great today or the masculine and feminine's inner child. Sad and uninspired, the divine feminine and the divine masculine in need of tools and or putting all the cards on the table to come to an understanding. So again, the peace talks. Without digging heels in or using lucky charms or reptilian space boots or roots and red rubies, rupees and rubels or native American Indian roots or East Indian roots. Shaman versus monk, potato, potato, it doesn't really matter. Not sweating the small stuff and need to get your way. Just shine your light and come what may. Then some numbers in a cluster were coming up and they ended up adding up to 54. What's important is the message. 54 is the page of swords. And then the numbers also added up to 20, which is the judgment card, that final decision. The judgment is out and being heard. In announcements, calls to action, that wake up call or an actual phone call. The Divine Masculine calling the Divine Feminine, and that was specifically to feminine women. And the Knight of Cups reversed and the Page of Cups reversed, both feeling jealous and rejected. Sleeping late and wanting to hide away, it could be kids crying and whining, purging it out. And the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine connecting in 5D, both feeling rejected, or the Divine Masculine clearing rejection, crybaby wounds, as well as jealousy and sincerity, being petty and refusal to love, clearing refusal to grow up, or the Peter Pan syndrome, which is interesting because I saw the masculine up wandering around in the etheric realms today. Rabbit ears listening and lay to rest, no longer hoofing it, down by the river or sea, quiet time resting, prayer, meditation, or two miscarriages, or a twin miscarriage, all right, so someone might have miscarried twins or the twin flame miscarriage, missing their chariot, their other or their wheels, okay? So their miscarriage <laughs> could be miscarriage of justice as well, but the twin flame miscarriage, missing their chariot, their other half, when that was at 1010, 10, guys, the wheel of fortune times two or that very high vibration and a turn for the better times two their other or their wheels. So their wheels are the wheel of fortune, right? Or kids got their car taken away as punishment at 1010. New love comes up and, be and below that was chemistry for you guys. Peace talks and negotiations through prayer and meditation. Expressing feelings, energy exchange. Uh, I went to write fast paced, but I wrote face. So face paced. Um, communication, all right, so communication in person, face-to-face, -face, um, or just fast-paced communications or travel or activities with the evil empress. Now, there's two empress energies here. When I get the empress from the Tarot of Sexual Magic, for me, that's much more of a dark energy. She kind of is, you know, gives me that evil energy. So this is that one, but there's another empress in the read today, which I'll express, but she's not the same one. She's a regular empress. So the evil empress may be surprised or shocked of the injustice of prison, prisoner, anxiety, and or fear. Or Libra reversed is shocked by energy stealing or valuables stolen by Taurus, expressing sexual energy in order to undermine Libra 
or knock them off balance. And that's how energy vampires take your energy. Shocked to find out that Taurus has been using Libra reverse the whole time, or Empress shocks Divine Masculine with the injustice of prison, prisoner, hostage situation, and or anxiety issues. Or shocked to realize the Divine Masculine that the karmic takes the Divine Feminine's energy by using his sexual energy. Or shocked that the Empress wants to have sex with him after the injustice of energy stealing or what has gone on between them. Or shocked that the Divine Feminine or Libra Feminine still wants to exchange sexual energy knowing that the Empress or Taurus is using it to their advantage. There's no justice, no sweets, no two spoons of sugar, no truth or fairy tales. Instead, gourmet vegetables served in a beautiful aromatic presentation. Sex without truth while another steals from you or the evil empress suddenly seduces with his favorite meal, unfairly trying to have sex with him and steal the divine feminine's energy again. She needs her fix, it's like a drug. So perseverance comes up, which is number four, the emperor, and beneath that was healing, which is 66, the queen of pentacles. The enemy or one who, do, who dares to tell the truth, and this is so funny to tell the truth came up because I just watched Catch Me If You Can last night, and the movie opens up with, um, with him on to tell the truth. So the enemy or one who dares to tell the truth or catch me if you can, daring to show his imbalanced side, debt using others, scams, inequitable relations, the page of wands inspired by poor judgment or non-judgment or ignoring the call to action and announcements while shining their light healing dreams come true, holding their tongue, the page of cups, still after all of this offers love. A two person horse can't function without each other's help and cooperation. Each feed or contribute equal shares of emotion to the collective body and to the earth or Gaia. The royal blue fabric and nightshade cannot overpower the power of love and unity consciousness. That's child's play. One inspires and the other loves, then reflects the opposite of the Page of Cups reversed and the Page of Wands reversed, being upright, right? So they were upright in the underlying energy and then going into the read, still the underlying energy, they are reversed because they reflect each other. The crybabies and temper tantrums in a purge. When they're reacting that way, then it's time to rest and reflect and meditate with each other, nursing each other back to health. When energy vampires are around you, persevering to get your energy, you may get knocked off balance very easily here. And this is at 1039, which is the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Cups, right? To remember to love yourself first. So then the Emperor, um, that number four comes up with the Emperor energy. So of course, someone like the Emperor is going to draw to it, just like anyone with a lot of wealth is going to draw to it a lot of energy vampires because they want what he has. So an energy vampires is as simple as someone who's, who, who deals in dramatics to knock other people off guard. And when they lower their energy, that's when they can get in on there and take their, their energy away from them, okay? And they never blink an eye about it, right? So in the recent past is the Three of Swords reversed healing and forgiving, the page of cups upright and the page of cups reversed. So to two pages, one upright, one reversed, reflecting each other. Separation from self, as above, so below, as within, so without. It all begins with love, the nothingness inspired by everythingness, the egg and the seed, the fabric of our lives, the chicken and the egg, the cotton and the seed, spontaneous combustion of nothingness and everythingness, explosion and implosion all at the same time, the vacuum zero point vortex, the safe zone, the quanta and how to leap from safe zone to safe zone without getting caught up in the tornado, the cyclone, the drama, the whirlwind romance, not by jumping right in without thought, but rather allowing the circumstances to be just right. And that's allowing yourself to go with the flow. 1042, that all came up which is the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Cups. And I got major connection there as well. Healing the negative past or childhood, bad memories or the past returning, with the Queen of Cups being played, the Knight of Wands falling short, or holding back passions from the wrong person. 
the King of Cups reversed with emotional detachment, or that could be over emotionalism as well. The Knight of Swords reversed holding their tongue to present the truth behind the Dark Knight's back or unable to catch up to him to present the truth. And then death change and transition transformation comes up of the King of Swords and the King of Wands both reversed or the King of Cups reversed passed away before he could tell the King of Swords and the King of Wands both reversed the truth about their home, house, and firings or layoffs or visits to the hospital, injuries, abandonment, destitution, and homelessness out in the cold or two to three sons left with nothing because the father didn't tell them all the debt that he owed. So this could be somebody's situation after their father passed away and didn't actually get to tell them what the real situation was before he passed. The foundation is the King of Swords reversed, being negative or not in their truth, healing and forgiving with new information and clarity about synchronicities and the choices and confusion, the ghosting or the unknown radiating, the sore spot, the plant intending to rain on your parade. And the central energy of it all here is the Six of Swords upright, finding that peaceful place and working through the uncomfortable emotions in facing his fears, your fears, Divine Masculine, in facing confrontation, standing in his truth, your truth, and the enemy within, that the war within is what causes abandonment and exile without, without a home or a business, two going in the same direction. The problem is, is that you're not facing each other. The war keeping them on different timelines or disabled and unable to work. The challenge being the Nine of Pentacles, the Sovereign, the pure and wise old soul, the world upside down and or incomplete, or in another world being strong, taming the beast. Playing field under the radar, right? So that we can talk about the etheric realms as your field, right? So the playing field where you're playing right now under the radar is undetectable by the group that the masculine is around. As final judgment, announcement, shared and settling out, the masculine is now called to action. So now I saw him before the read today up in the etheric realms and the read is basically telling us that the group has been stealing his energy, can't get to him when he's up in the etheric realms. So this is why he's being pulled out right now, right before the eclipse. It's like this reset or flip. So again, undetectable by the group as final judgment, announcement, shared, or sharing or in settling out, the masculine calls to action. As the Three of Cups comes up is the Empress, the Emperor, and the Hierophant, which can represent the third energy. Sovereign on a quest for, the, for good news and attention, being strong, tempering their beast, but not yet closing the cycle. The Knight of Pentacles reversed, taking a break from work, home working through truths and difficult emotions, as well as injuries and illnesses. And that was at 1106, which is justice and the six of the lovers. So as we turn the page, it's 1107, Justice and the Chariot. There's pain, a painful ending and betrayal. The masculine in need of help, money, opportunity, or a, this, that student that never learns, always expecting others to get them out of a jam, over loss and regret, standing in truth but without love. The lovers without happy family or emotional fulfillment. And so this student who never learns can reference the masculine or whoever's around him as well. It can be children too. But um, it's bringing out the energy of the, um, the truth without love, again, which in Two Popes is referenced as something that's excruciating, right? The truth shall set you free, but without love, it's excruciatingly painful. So the lovers without a happy family here, because there's no love expressed, only truth, or emotional fulfillment, there's none there. Rejected and vulnerable, the baby crying, finding peace without the King of Cups reversed, in disconnect. Or, as disconnected King of Cups reversed, not seeing eye to eye, him being that, not seeing eye to eye or face to face, or broke off their partnership, whether that's a sexual relationship or a work relationship or a friend even. Now, for the masculine here, crowning is the Six of Pentacles upright. Sharing, right? Equitable distribution, settling out, or just settling in general, 
charitable distributions. In prison though, by this, trapped anxiety and fear, inspiring him to work on aligning with his true desires, getting his ducks in a row, imprisoned by projects to show off your work, right? That template of, of um, needing to work a certain amount or have an, a certain amount or look a certain way or be a certain way in order to be worth something to society, to be able to be the man who gives to everyone, right? So he gets to get all the glory, shares with all, but the world is, his world is upside down with bad memories, with the past returning, stubborn kids, and or twin unable to work with message or love. So still, you know, even unable to work though, twins, even if they're unable to work, still have a message of love to give. Settling out at work with unhappy family or an end of family or emotional cycle, closing the distance gap and coming clean with the hermit reversed or Virgo energy, coming out about juggling, performing, and no longer wanting to hurt each other. Resisting and stubborn, which dis is disabling to them. Secret romance, out in the cold together, doing the dance, dancing in the dark. The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles reversed, along with the Page of Swords and the Page of Wands both reversed, lovers, right? Their inner children. The Patient Angel and the Devil waving with sexual energy, ending an emotional cycle of needing attention or attention-seeking activities and behaviors. Negative talk and actions, or none at all, no messages, between romantic lovers, codependent angels of emotional fulfillment. The Knight of Cups reversed and the Page of Cups reversed are jealous energies and rejected. A product of the Ten of Pentacles reversed, family or dysfunction or lineage or business going under. The Page of Pentacles and the Page of Wands both reversed are part of that tree of jealousy and sincerity and judgmentalism and lacking faith, falling on face from, or from grace and exposing all and purging it all out now. The lovers judged by their family, wealth, society, finding peace in the dis disconnection now. And soon as the King of Cups reversed, who blows their top, blows their crown, blows their cover, or just explodes, erupts, or some kind of sudden event or epiphany with the high priestess and sovereign, secretly independent or single now, or suddenly coming together, or the reunion of the high priestess and sovereign, which also could be mother and child. It could be also a sovereign mother with a Pisces and Scorpio child coming in and the father detached from this, or suddenly joining forces or in peace negotiations, finding the conditions upon which you can be civil with each other. A coming together of the high priestess, the king of cups reversed, and Sovereign, which can be Pisces and Scorpio energies here, along with another group of the Emperor and the Empress, along with the Hierophant. The Hierophant and Sovereign, suffering in silence, broke, broken, breakdown, break up, or break through, and that definitely can be Taurus and Aries energies, um, maybe in a car, having car or travel issues, or unable to move, and so reaping rewards. At 11.34, which is justice, and that was at 1133, which is justice and the Christ vibration, but also the seven of wands. We turn the page to the 34, which is the eight of wands, fast paced communications back and forth and justice, which is truth and balance. The four of swords, rest, time out of the Empress and the Hermit or Taurus and Virgo and or Taurus Aquarius person for the Empress to shower her abundance on everyone, especially divine feminines, gifting or settling out under the radar to bring a group together. The Divine Masculine sees himself as the Ace of Wands reversed today, frustrated and unable to conceive or conceptualize or sexually or creatively blocked, dumping burdens, responsibilities or a load or confessing as the Devil and or Capricorn defenseless to the energies and attacks, codependencies, addictions taking over, but now he's present to the fact that he's waiting for nothing. Wedding comes up, which means the situation just involves marriage, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, as well as reconciliations. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Around the Divine Masculine or how he is seen is the Six of Wands reversed, under the radar, feeling of failure or bad news coming in 
or needy for attention, passion and drama, the wounded warrior frustrated on their last leg or their last wound that needs to be cleared, getting over loss and regret, guilt and shame of the disconnect of the masculine and the feminine, refusing to having refused to see them eye to eye or face to face. The masculine needs to clear blocks of the three of pentacles, the trinity energy of co-creation, coming clean, exposing all, and being happy with self at work, even if it's by himself, or working without partners. Being happy with what you have to work with now and not feeling broke or unworthy of better things. New beginnings comes up as well as surrender, but even more so today for the masculine is environment, a green environment, not just things and, and um, the earth, but the people around you. Are the people around you green or are they energy vampires? So the Sagittarius female drinker with an attitude comes up or potion maker with the white kiss of death or a hook. Patient with a new life staging for you. Pouring another drink before bed. Here you go, honey. So I can drain your energy and take your energy again. Seven of cups upright. And that could be a child as well who's drinking. The seven of cups upright, the stairway to heaven or seven step program. Lover's final judgment exposed to all finding peace without the king of cups reversed partner or finding peace with his disconnectedness from them. Sharing or settling out for ascension of the Empress, Emperor, and the Hierophant, Pisces, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Aries, Virgo, and Cancer, as well as Gemini and Sagittarius, both all here climbing the steps. The Divine Masculine Capricorn is steaming and waving. His fire about out, right? The, wound, the, the fire that regards to his wounds is about all out. Burned them all. It's like, you know, the, the present to nothingness. There's nothing out in the desert anymore. All the trees are burned down. No more monkeys' bridges, right? Because if the trees are gone, the monkeys can't swing. Or you, you can't zip line either. Surrender to lover. Jealous and in need of help. Dysfunctional family, business, or loss of money. Frustrated falling, falling in front of lover. Purging, crying, or starting over in love with loss of hope or depression, with the Queen of Wands at the Eclipse. There's a reunion or coming together in joy here, starting over in love, no more island unto himself. The injustice of the lover holding on, in great pain, back pain, and betrayal, of insecurities and manipulation, and now offering, or has offered already, a new life, or that gold coin, unity consciousness. Rejection, vulnerable, a baby crying or crying like a baby, the king of swords reversed, being negative or not in his truth, and frustrated feeling of failure, healing and finding peace with sovereign or their own sovereignty, and the king of cups reversed, detached or over emotional at work sharing at 1211, the hangman and justice, settling out, somebody could be hung out to dry, settling out to take steps of love and descend. Ascend to love, and this was at 1212, two hang people, <laughs> two hang men, or that can reference the masculine and the feminine as well, 12 and 12. Ascend to love and surrender and reunion, starting over in love and new life. Vulnerable healing to be able to offer love, and the king of swords reversed, finding peace in sharing, settling out, and being charitable. The challenge being the sovereign or his own sovereignty, Frustration in handling the third energy. And the King of Cups reversed with conditions to love. Under the radar at the workplace or place of co-creation, taking the steps now to ascend, to love, to surrender, to reunion, to joy, to starting over in love and to the new life of the gold coin. An equitable relationship, taking steps together as Empress and Emperor, or Emperor and Empress, either way, with the third energy, source, love, creator, God, and the gold coin, the unity consciousness, or taking steps to surrender to a group or peace negotiations and start over, but in a totally another way. All right, so that was the read, you guys. I'm going to show you the cards, but I do want to pull you some Oracle cards, and it's 3939, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Cups, both offering love equally. Okay, so let's see where we are here. We'll start with the animal cards today. 
Today is January 9th, and we have the eclipse tomorrow. I'm not sure what time it is. I think I looked it up at some point, but I can't remember now. So this weekend's going to be a biggie with tomorrow being um, Friday, and then the uh, conjunction of of Saturn and Pluto on Sunday, so it's going to be kind of interesting to see what comes up this weekend. And here we have January 9, 2020, for everybody watching and the best and highest good of all those concerned. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? And let's clear all negative energies from all dimensions of time, space, matter, and realities for the highest good of all those concerned. And filling those empty spaces with only beautiful, divine love and diamond crystalline light. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see what's the... Oh, that came right out. Two of spring. And I, when I first wrote it, I was getting two offspring. So some of, you, some of you could definitely be dealing with your children, which is interesting. Because my son's home between jobs and my daughter's coming home tomorrow. So Pelican is your vision, creativity, and dedication to your cause have brought you great success. In fact, it may be in your best interest to get a partner to assist in your endeavors or expand the number of people helping you. Very interesting. And you see how the pelican has another one flying in to help. It's like the two, um, the two person horse or the three legged race, right? So there you go. There's help on the way. And then, oh, there's the mother and children that I just expressed. The six of summer, the goose. The love and care of children could become an important part of your life or people from your childhood may return to it. Old memories can be healed or possibly old childhood dreams are ready to be revived. Okay, so there's mother and children energy. And actually two more cards want to come up, but this is the underlying energy, the dreamer, zero. So that humanness, your humanity, the shepherd puppy, you are starting a new adventure. Run free and take a leap of faith. Yay. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven butterflies in this, along with the shepherd puppy. But there's also an angel. I don't know if you can see this. This person actually has wings. So that's an angel back there. And then we have white roses here. And look, there's the fool's bag, right? There's the fool's sack. This is like the fool card, the dreamer. And how happy the puppy is. And look, look at the puppy. He's the bridge. He literally, he literally looks like the bridge between the uh, the lawns. He is, um, <laughs> he's in peace settlements with the butterflies, right? He let go of his, he's the wandering, the wandering fool. <laughs> And he let go of his sack to play with the butterflies, to bridge and make, make and have peace negotiations. So that's bringing that up as well. But the other two that wanted to come up, and we have three of the same color here. And they're all of summer. We have one, the one card was the two of spring, but these two are all the same color with the six of summer that I showed you. The five of summer says the dragonfly. Focus upon the fact that God loves you and always has the highest of intentions for you. A positive outlook makes it easier to recover from life's little difficulties so that you can move onward and upward. Okay. And so we have sunflowers here and the dragonfly. And that reminds me of the sun. I was just out jogging and the sun was so pretty today. It was very, it looked very big and expansive and soft. But it looks huge in its softness. And then the last card we have here is Eight of Summer, which is the kangaroo, and there's two of them. You feel that there's more to life than what you're living, so it's time to move on. You may be moving from a situation that isn't good for you, or perhaps you're being drawn to what would make you happy. Either way, you're now back in control, okay? So we have the, the five, six, and eight of summer so what's missing is the seven but anyway these are the energies that are coming up and then the two of spring two six five eight I wanted to say who do we appreciate two six is the page of wands and then 
wait, which was first? I'm sorry, two, yeah, two six is the page of wands and then five eight is the four of swords. So the page of wands needs a timeout. <laughs> there may be a kid who's a little out of control. That could be this one, out chasing butterflies. All right, so the page of wands is in the etheric realms. That's referencing the masculine because they're usually the page of cups. When the page of cups and page of wands, and they came up in multiple places together, it's usually referencing the inner children of the masculine and the feminine. All right, so now the energy deck here. Let's see what we have for you. So from the energy deck, what do we have here? Right, and that came right out. There's actually two. The bottom of the deck is 38, which is the Queen of Cups, the Fourth Chakra, which is the heart, and Archangel Raphael. So physical healing with the Green and Raphael and the Queen of Cups. So this is guidance for the feminine, because the Queen of Cups very much represents the feminine, to heal her physical body. We also have... 39, so you have 38 and 39 of the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups, which is very much the energy of the masculine and feminine. And he is the fifth chakra archangel, Gabriel. Okay, so they're coming out together here. The underlying energy, and then coming into this energy, so I should put them this way. And then the second one that came out is 21, which is the strategy of them coming together. The fourth and fifth chakra, right? the heart and the communication and the strategy of how to make peace negotiations. There's your, there's your pen and angelic energy, right? We have archangels here. So you have the queen of cups, the knight of cups, and the world, completion. It's time to make a strategy to come together. That's really beautiful, guys. And, and focus on your heart and your throat chakras as I'm losing my throat chakra this whole time. Um, let's see. Since we're talking about physical healing, I have to give you a yoga card. What position does everyone need today? Mm -hmm. nope, I guess a whole bunch came out. I guess I'll take them. The hero, 28, is on the is underlying the energy. Let's see what that, that's this one here. I'm just going to show you the instructions on the back so you can read them if you want. Okay. And then the ones that came out for you are the proud warrior, this one. Okay, and we got a ding for that one, so that's probably a good one for you today. The proud warrior. The assisted standing forward bend. The instructions. Um, this one is the cat and dog stretch. Okay, the instructions. Wow, you got a lot. And then just the breathing. There's no. There's just a picture on the back, but I don't know if you can read that. Let's see if I can focus that a little better. Okay. That's just the picture on the back. And then the last one is just a knee hug. Okay? So there's your yoga positions that came up. And then the Metatron deck. Okay. So the dog crossing the lawns brings up my chicken joke. Why did the chicken cross the road? To come into union. <laughs> okay, now we have union. We have union. Uh, <laughs> we have union. All right, here's Metatron. Metatron, what is our advice? That came right up, and this has been coming up a lot. Building blocks for life. Priorities, 52 is the queen of swords. It's to speak your truth, divine feminines. That's the queen of swords. Okay, use all of your chakras, all of your light, 
right? Your, di your diamond rainbow light, that crystalline light. Um, this wants to come up as well. Action, movement needed, so make sure you exercise. And if you're at the beach, go run on the beach. We have number nine for the hermit. If you've been in the house too much, time to go out and exercise. The building blocks for life, right? Your priorities, you must take care of your physical health. And then just this last one, um, with the underlying energy is ancestors, appreciation, and healing. So have appreciation for your past and your lineage here, which 34 is the eight of wands, that uh, fast-paced communications, travel, arrows of love. And then the last card that came up is 55, which is the truth, the ace of swords, safety, strength, and power in the red. And red came up today as well, as well as the Native American Indians and the East Indians, right? Safety, strength, and power. So these are the three cards that came up from the Metatron deck, okay? Heal, work on your whole chakra system, and then you have, you know, the Christ light around you. Make sure to exercise or take a walk, get fresh air, and make sure you have safety and security, right? You're a strong foundation. That's the power to where, you know, going forward with everything else. Make sure your teepee's not going to blow over in the middle of the night. Take care of it. And here, also, look, this is a peace pipe. Peace negotiations definitely is a big theme for today's read. All right, last deck is the Nature's Whispers, and we're getting a lot of butterflies today. All right, last one. I'm getting that the candle is very calming as well. Just like the sun today, it was very it wasn't very. Mm, um, what is the? Uh, I'm trying to think of the. Uh, it wasn't contrasted. It was very uh, blurred out and soft. The candles reminding me of the sun today, which is very different. Some days the sun really stands out, but not today. It was very big and and diffuse. The underlying energy here is fresh approach, which is 21 again, so the world or completion. And that again, this is the rainbow road bringing the this land and sea together. This is all the animals with the land and the creatures of the sea with the dolphins coming up. This is the peace talks, negotiations, crossing the rainbow bridge. Okay, so three cards came out. We have 11, which again is justice and make a decision. I don't know if I've Hold this card yet. Then we have Be True to Your Heart, which is 26, which again is that page of wands. And then the last one, again, all three of these numbers, we had a lot of today. 20 is, the, is Judgment, Higher Ground. With a very beautiful colored rose. Let me just look at these for a moment to see if I have any messages. There's definitely peacock energy popping through. And that violet rose, violet rose, and buttercup yellow, Mary Magdalene energy for sure coming through here. So beautiful, oh, and bringing through my favorite flower is the, um, is like a violet, um, why am I blanking out? I'm sorry, for those of you who don't know me very well, I I got hit by a car in 2016, so my my retrieval isn't very good. I slammed my head on the street pretty good. Um, irises, thank you. So irises, I like the lighter irises, not the real dark purple ones, but the lighter violet-y ones, and this is very much that yellow and violet of the irises. So that's coming through. And so much of that Mary Madeline energy with the violet. And of course the violet is the crown, the crowning glory. The, the, uh, the kiss of the rose. I'm getting the kiss of the rose, you know, the, the sweetness of the little girl, right? And her high vibration energy that comes out of the rose. Because remember, uh, one of the downloads I got was that the feminines are born with the pink and the masculines are born with the the green 
but they both have the gold coin when they're born, but they each depend on the opposite sex to teach them the, op the other color, right? So the little girl has her father teach her about the green or the stability, grounding, and then the mother teaches the son about the etheric realms, the love, right, of the higher realms. So that's coming up referencing the pink energy of the feminine of the higher realms that the masculine now is, is discovering. But so much Mary Magdalene energy here. And it's kind of like Isis. I'm getting, this is from like the little girl, right? The little girl of purity to the, this is the inner child of the feminine to the Mary Magdalene to the Isis energies, okay? So it's like the Sophia. In all your glory and beautiful colors there's so much um, butterfly energy here even when there's not butterflies it's still that butterfly energy and there's sheep in this this card as well right there's sheep down here on the in the fields and this I don't know if you can tell but this rose has grown from the field of sheeps of sheep. Right? It's a thorny path. But look what comes out of that thorny path. And that lush, look where it's coming at the so The soil is so beautiful and green and lush. So when you tend the soil and make it so healthy like this, and the sheep, it hasn't always been easy for them, right? They're getting shaved all the time for their wool. <laughs> the thorns that they had to, to endure. But look what grew out of that is this beautiful rose. And then down here in this card are the ships. There's two ships coming in. And we, there's a, a choice being made um, has come up as a common theme as well. So some of you could definitely have two options being presented to you. There's actually a third ship presented in the center of this shell. I'm getting like, this isn't as is a megaphone, an old record, you know, type thing, but uh, I was getting the jack-in-the-box from that too, right? It's time, the handle's going to be pulled and soon and jack's going to pop out of the box and escape from the box, from the old paradigm. And there's definitely, in this card, there's camels. So it's like we have every different scene here. Like this is desert to the to the um, East Indians, right? Because we have the um, other deck brought up the American Indians. And then here we have the Page of Wands with the, with the seas. And then we have the green. We have a representation of the whole earth here. And the, and the child growing into her maturity and her knowingness. Okay guys, I have to show you the cards. It's definitely about peace negotiations today though. Okay, all right. So the underlying energy is Seeker of, sorry, it's still focused on the close up. Um, seeker of Chalice is the underlying energy, the Three of Swords, the recent past. The foundation here is the Master of Orbs. And the center is the six of orbs or swords. The nine of crystals is the challenge today. The underlying energy is here. Along with the crowning energy is the, the scales. You can't see them very well there, but you got the six of pentacles. And then scrolling across to what's coming is the master of cups or chalices. That is reversed today. The masculine seeing himself is the ace of flames, which is also reversed today. Around the masculine or how he's seen is the six of flames reversed. Uh, the blocks he needs to clear has to do with the three of crystals or pentacles. And we end up here on the seven of cups, the stairway to heaven in this deck, the Syrian starseed deck, and it was upright. With the um, two of pentacles or crystals in this deck is like the surrender, that's above that. And then the three of cups, which you see the top of, and then the four of cups, which was reversed. And then we end up on the ace of pentacles. 
And look at the colors over here, the green and blue, again, the heart and the throat, so that's confirmed. And then down here we have more of the sacral and the heart with the green and the orange, okay? So we're going from, from the, the heart and the throat back into the sacral energies, but to really ground that communication first before going into that heart and sexual energy. Okay, we're after one o'clock, so I'm gonna get going, you guys. Make sure you drink your water and get your rest. There's nothing you can do wrong. Just be good to yourself and rise and be loved. Bye.